Lord be with you. And in your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, when Jesus got into the boat, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by the waves. But he was asleep. And they went and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are perishing. And Jesus said to them, Why are you afraid, O men of little faith? Then he rose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And the men marveled, saying, What sort of man is this, that even winds and sea obey him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, perhaps there is no other part of the Gospel in which we find the humanity of Christ so closely tied to his divinity as the one we have just heard. In one breath, our Lord Jesus Christ was tired, he was fatigued out of having done so much work and he was fast asleep in the boat. Who sleeps during a storm? Or who can actually sleep during a storm? It is the one who is really and truly tired. So we see the humanity of Christ clearly in the fact that he felt tired in the way that you and I can be tired, and he slept in the way that you and I also need sleep for our bodies. But immediately Christ wakes up, his humanity is diminished and his divinity shines out. He calmed a sea that was coming. He showed to those around him that he was the Lord who created the heavens and the earth. He was the one who created the sea and all that it contains. The humanity of Christ and the divinity of Christ should also remind us of ourselves because as much as we are human, so do we have a spark of the divine in all of us. God has breathed the Spirit into us so that we are not merely flesh, we are not merely physical beings, but we are spiritual beings also. So what the Word of the Lord is saying to us today just like Jesus was trying to point out to his apostles, was that as much as you fear, let your fear not be bigger than your faith. Because you are not just human, you are spiritual. That's why Jesus Christ was angry with them. He was angry with them not because there was a storm, not because that they were afraid, but because they forgot that they too had the spark of divinity in them. Their fear was bigger than their faith. And he said to them, you men of little faith. So to us, when we find storms in our lives, let us not forget that there is a spark of divinity in us, that there is faith in us, in as much as there are situations that might bring fear into our lives, let us never be afraid. Because we have within us something that is greater than what is out there in the world. He blesses one in our hearts this afternoon through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.